Do you have any makeup at all? I think I have some Halloween makeup over in that second drawer. Are you gonna get ready? Fine. Let me put my face on. Are you gonna be like this all night? I can go without you, you know. I'm sorry, is there some kind of secret handshake required to get in that I don't know about? What? That's fine. I wouldn't miss your panties around some random guy's wrist for all the flammable merchandise and Hot Topic. I shop at Hot Topic. My condolences. Seriously though, are you gonna get ready? I've been ready. <coughs> oh my god! What the hell is that? It's a spliff. What the hell is a spliff? A spliff? You know, half pot, half tobacco. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Aren't you worried about yellow tea? No, I'm worried about mine though. I swear you revel in making yourself unattractive. I just have something other than making myself arm candy on my mind. You need to get laid. Yeah, and if I wanted to get laid, I'd invite over any guy in class with promises of booze and show an extra tenth of an inch of skin. Sounds kind of militant. Shut up. I'm just saying, you don't like guys and you don't like girls. What's that other track that you on? Does it matter? Of course it matters. I mean, practically everybody at Pacific Grove High thinks- Newsflash, I don't care. Well, you should. I mean, everybody in class- Fuck class. Okay, fuck it. And fuck high school. You honestly think anybody's gonna give a fuck about one so-called militant lesbian that never talked to anybody? God, why are you so superficial? Why are you so boyish? There, the bag's packed. Are we going or not? Did you get it? Sick. your reflection every time you see it. It's because I don't break glass every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> Excuse you? Excuse you? No, please, finish your insult. Just because you don't break glass every time you look in the mirror. Oh, what? Whatever. You gonna try and get laid tonight? Maybe, I don't know. Well, be careful, okay? Thanks, Mom. No, I'm serious. Well, for fuck's sake, Heather, what is it with you? What? <laughs> what is your big hang up on sex? There's no hang up. Yeah, there is, because every time I bring it up, I get a 15 minute lecture on dangers of fucking. Every place I went into was the same thing as the Java place. Mm -hmm. They all just kind of looked at me kind of weird, like, who is this kid? Who is this kid with this long hair? Well, you're trying to be like a financial consultant, right? Why don't you try and get a job like at one of the H&R uh, blocks or something. Could, well, I was thinking about that. I don't know. It's kind of a lot of commitment. Taxes are a big deal here. Nobody perfect. does their own fucking taxes. Because if I go, they're going to be like, okay, cut your hair, <laughs> get a new suit. Yeah. You got, you've got to look the part, too, so I don't yeah. know if I'm willing to do that. Are you afraid I'm going to get raped? Well, you don't exactly come across as a very challenging target. Hey, I like sex, okay? I figure we skip the pleasantries, get to the part we both actually like. Well, you gotta remember, like, they're old, you know? None they're of them old. have, none of them have cool, like, I mean, their grandchildren don't live with them, you know? They don't, they, don't, they moved here to get away from young people. <laughs> what, you don't see anything appealing about being tied down and taken advantage of? No. No, I don't. You should try it sometime. And you should shut the hell up. Have you actually ever had an orgasm? Can I have a seat? Is this where you usually play? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. All right. 
Did you get your college letters yet? No, dragging their feet. You know them. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. I got into CSUMB and UC Santa Cruz. CSUMB? I just have to fill out. Yeah, it's, it's all a game anyway. <laughs> okay. Seriously, okay, why do parents put such a huge emphasis on going to college? The richest guys in the world never went? I think it's better to just not go and just get work experience. Should I get in or something? <laughs> okay, even give a shit. I got better shit to do than dress up in some corporate monkey suit. <laughs> yeah, there's always trade school. Right, there is trade school if you want that. And yeah, definitely. Whatever. What are we doing tonight? Um, there's that party over in Skyline if you want to go. If you want. Whose party? Um, I don't think it matters when you're crashing. Do <laughs> that. Probably some rich kid whose parents are out of town or something. Should be fun to crash. I just hope it's not like the last one. That sausage <laughs> fest. You know. But okay, you're going off to college. What the fuck? What are you even going to study? Guess. Guess. Um... Something involving number crunching for that Jewish side of yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I think you should go to CSUMB though. I think it's better in a lot of ways. That's yeah, definitely closer. Right? It's closer. It's got a new campus, new dorms. Actually, you know what? Fuck the dorms. Me and you could move in together. We could be roommates. Yeah, I like that idea. I just want to get the fuck out of my pants, please. Yeah. You remember uh, Savannah? Redheaded chick. Yeah, she Facebooked me last night, dude. Oh my gosh, she was looking so fine. Huh. Cool. What'd you guys talk about? She just seems like she needed a man's touch, you know what I mean? I don't care if a girl calls you up about her new kitten. What she's really trying to say is, Hi, I'm emotional and horny. Want to spend the night? End of story. I don't know about that. Okay, seriously, give me a scenario. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's take a scenario I just said. Your friend, whomever, calls because she's got a new kitten, right? Right. Mm. So why didn't she call any number of her chick friends about it first? Why did she call you? Well, she probably... Okay, I know what you're going to say, and let's deal with that. She did call all of her other friends, and you were the last on her list, right? And that makes no fucking sense, let me tell you why. If you were the last person on her fucking list, that would imply she's told the story to all of her friends already, right? Right. And would that not also imply she's inviting every other motherfucker over to check out the exact same thing, right? No, not necessarily. Okay, well, what would seem worse? Her inviting everybody over, or just you? Probably everybody, right? So what's the rest? She's already told the story 15 times, already had 15 people over to look at something as stupid as a kitten. No. Nah. I tell the story twice in 24 hours and I'm sick of it. I'll never tell it again. And now you're saying she's going to get all amped up over some cutesy story she's told 15 times because she wants to hold your hand and talk about fuzzy shit? No, fuck that. I don't buy it. Anyone willing to go through small talk they've already had to go through 15 times in the same day is either aiming for social advancement or a fucking circle jerk. <laughs> Insightful. Where is everybody? There's like no cars here. Maybe it got canceled. Oh, quiet.
Ah, oh. another degenerate from the YouTube generation. Rebelling against the squares by leeching off them. I'm gonna go out on a limb and just intuit that you understood the lack of permission my son had in throwing such a blatant fuck you toward me. Didn't you get the memo? The party's been canceled due to an ass whipping. So why don't you do the world a favor and get the fuck off my property before I cart your tan asses back to your mommies in a wheelbarrow? Get out of here! That the oh, house? Yes, that's the right address. God, I spent like an hour doing my hair. Whatever. It was probably just gonna be another drool fest over a kegger. Some drunk chick loses her top, and then all the guys compete for who gets to take her home. <laughs> Fucking animals. That chick was supposed to be me. Dude, you're unbelievable, you know that? <sighs> Whatever, let's Damn. just go. <laughs> I hate this fucking place. This whole fucking town pisses me off. It's like you're not allowed to have fun or some shit. Fuck that. And then there's assholes like that that just like to yell. It's like I didn't beat the shit out of him on his own steps for talking to me like that. Get a job. <sighs> I wish I had a gun! go that route. What? You turn every situation where you're unfavored, and you make it into some kind of ego defense. Oh. Don't tell hey. me that. I don't want to hear that. Hey, hey. Don't no, tell I'm me. getting sick don't of it. Tell me. You don't like Pacific Grove? <sighs> Leave. God. You don't like being stereotyped because you're young? Go someplace where you won't be. This is a retirement community, bro. This isn't the place for that shit. It's a beautiful place to die. It just seems so wrapped up in making it something it's not. You don't even look at any place else. Easy for Mr. Opportunity to say, isn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Kyle, you couldn't fail at anything if you tried. You're so trapped in doing whatever it is your parents want you to do, that as far as I remember, your only act of rebellion ever has been taking one too many summer electives at MPC. whoop de fucking do Whatever. You know what? Did you get to pick your classes this year? Shut up. What about your focus in college? And what about your classes then? What about you? Take your best shot. jealous of the fact that I'm getting a degree and I'm getting out of here. You pretend to hate money because you know you'll never have it. And you mock the education system because you failed it. And it's easier to say it turned its back on you than to man up and pay your dues. I'm jealous. Okay, sure I'm jealous. Your biggest problem in life is that your car is the wrong fucking color. Not the fact that you got a car for your birthday. Don't even think for a second our issues are on the same level, dude. You're embarrassing yourself. When you need four roommates to pay rent to eat every day, give me a call. When you have to choose between electricity or food, let me know. Till then, bury your head in the fucking sand and wait for graduation. You've been waiting long to say that? No. Okay, yes. How's it feel? What? My father's words coming out of your mouth. Oh, how does it feel? You don't like your living situation? Change it. Go to MPC. Get a loan. Change your life if you're so motivated to do so. I'm starting with an advantage I don't like. Sure, it might be easier for me to stay on the path of least resistance, but at least you have the option to do whatever you want with your life. What? Like anything, I don't know. Travel the world. Go to Burning Man. Study with Tibetan monks, for all I know. Think about that, Nick. You've been my best friend for 15 years. And I have no idea what you want to do with your life. 
You know why? Because instead of telling me what you're going to do or where you're going to go or developing any part of yourself, you just tear down anyone around you who actually has a plan or is going somewhere or doing something. You want to be a financial consultant? Be my fucking guest. I think you're going to find it's just a tad bit harder than you thought it was going to be once you get started. Harder, yeah, harder. That's why I'm not going to do it because it's going to be hard. It's hard slaving away at some computer. Do I have to piss my life? Don't you ever interrupt me the day I get cut off by some spineless number cruncher. Walk a day in my shoes, asshole. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Are you alright? Where did I hit you? Seriously, get the fuck off me! Hit me back! <sighs> hit me back! Break my nose! Knock a tooth out or something! Do something! What, do you think you're too good to hit me or something? You think I don't think I got it coming? Everyone else does, why don't you? Do this one thing for me so I can hate you before you leave me in this shithole! <laughs> Your face. Fuck you. Come on. Come on, it's really Hey! Nice. No, Mark. Who's out here? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, my sides hurt. Oh my god, that was so much fun. That was fucking great. Oh. oh my god, I'm soaking wet. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you jump into a hot tub. <laughs> Jesus. Why did you come in? It was so awesome. I was working on it. <laughs> oh my god. The manager hella hurt us. <laughs> uh, fuck it, bro. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, now that, that was awesome. What are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna go warm myself by the fire. I don't know what you're doing. You don't doing. even know whose fire that is. Exactly. For fuck's sake, dude, you're the only real friend I ever had. Would you say something, please? I think you had enough people hitting you. What does that mean? Hey, you mind if we warm up here? Did you ever stop to think that maybe you're the only friend I ever had, too? Would you sit down? You're hovering. That's better. Still fucking hurts. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you alright? You're an asshole. Oh, dude, you had it coming. <laughs> God, <laughs> talking about like that. Jeez. Still crashing to my place? I just hit you in the face. Am I still invited? <laughs> happened to your face? You're bleeding. It's okay. <laughs> Who did this to you? He did. Hello. I'm Kyle. Sarah, does it hurt? No. No? You're... No. Because it looks like it hurts. Come on. Small house. And 
I got something for that. Loving a strange girl. Though I'm a young man. Okay. I'm bound to change. Hey, might burn a little. If they only understood, I won't. I, I had the ring. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Nick. Be the same. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> What's in that? I have no idea. It seems nobody's listening. It's nasty. <laughs> on your mind. We, we really were just leaving now. All the people living on your block just waiting to die. You getting cheeky. <laughs> 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 That was an excellent pun. I didn't see that when I was good. I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> you could say it punched me in the face. <laughs> well, as much as I enjoy standing awkwardly, I don't. So I'm gonna sit down. You can come if you like. No more teeth are ever made. And I wanna feel. Yes, I wanna feel.